Hello and welcome. I'm happy to announce you the Font Hero 2.0. At this point it's a beta, but uh, we are going to release the stable in day or two. And uh, besides the obvious uh, UI improvement where we brought uh, a lot of contrast, uh, we added the font preview. You have the paragraph, you have the sentence, and you have the heading. So you can just switch between them. You can add the uh, custom text as well. You have the slider to preview the font sizes. Also you can switch between the themes so you can see how the font is going to look in a light or a dark theme as well. And also you have the reset in case you just uh, want to see those uh, defaults. Let me just switch to this one. Uh, and you all know that we have option to add font face or you can uh, add the variable font. Uh, you now have the options to, for uh, Google fonts. I just want to show you, uh, we're only on the market that uh, have predefined uh, professional font pairings. So uh, in this example, what we have is a uh, Playfair display as a heading. And you can see how that looks like, but uh, the cool thing about is you can just switch, for example, to this one. And it's going to change right away. So let's uh, change to something else. Let's take Oswald. And you can see uh, how easily you can shape your uh, design. But uh, now let's move to this one. So let, let me copy the headline and you will see, and I'm going to delete this one and you will see why I'm doing this. So if you go to the Google fonts, you can choose of course between the light and dark. You have the option uh, to filter based on the groups. And I just choose something. This can be good. So you can choose the font weights and styles and also you can choose uh, between the cheristers. So let's for now have uh, these three. You can choose between the font display. I'm going to keep it as a swap. And also I want to point that you can rename the font family when you're importing. So I'm going to use the headline. So I'm going to press save. It's going to import all uh, right away. And also I want to point that uh, we have all the uh, font faces and it's uh, as a s imported as a separate. So in case you don't need this uh, subset, you can just easily remove it. Save. Let's just go to the front, reload, and you can see how it's, Im why it's, uh, we brought that important feature. So you can just replace uh, Google font on the fly on the entire website without needing to go to the any visual builder to replace uh, the fonts one by one or to find the classes. You just uh, replace it here and it's going to be replaced on the entire website. And also I want to point that uh, for the Google fonts, we are uh, we're downloading only the WoW 2 and he here is why. So if you change, uh, if you go to the can I use it and type WoW, you can see the coverage is uh, 98.06. But if you type WoW 2, it's going to be 1% uh, less. And what is not core is the Internet Explorer. And we decided to not to include it because nobody is uh, covering Internet Explorer any anymore. And you should uh, load less if you actually don't need it. So since the Internet Explorer is not supported anymore, we decided to make you the best uh, performance 
and the best options uh, for you and not to clutter the UI with the options that you actually don't need. If you need uh, anything uh, else, for example, we support all the major visual builders, all the teams. Uh, if something is missing, please send us email and we are going to add it. So hopefully uh, you like what you see with the latest Font Hero and how the Font Hero is progressing. So please uh, leave, leave the comments uh, and tell us what you think. Bye.